Peace and blessings, family. I want to share with y'all today by deciphering in the cipher, Messenger Elijah Muhammad's teachings on polygamy. There's a lot of misinterpretation, misrepresentation, misunderstanding, and intentional sabotage regarding polygamy in Islam in general. But I'm speaking in the vein of a student follower of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings. In brief, one black man, one black woman. However, the honorable Elijah Muhammad did understand what the Quran taught about polygamy. He did understand the science and the history of the world and told us to study the sciences of life and lost found miles of lesson number two. And a lot of people, when they get into that science, if you will, like anything, it could be helpful and it could be harmful. Now, I mean, there's 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 uh, black and white marriages where polygamy worked for them, and there's black and white marriages where polygamy did not work for them. There's monogamous situations that did not work. Now, I mean, so I'm not getting into a historical or a political thing. I more or less want to just give y'all something real quick. And it's regarding the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings is something that's overlooked and underestimated and doubted. In brief, scientifically, there's polygamy where a man has more than one wife and there's polygamy where a woman has more than one husband. A lot of people don't like talking about polygamy, but in this world, in this, in this, in this uh, little planet that orbits around our sun, I mean, you have both systems, I mean, our lessons teaches us in 17 ways for the Islamic culture that actions are judged by intentions. Actions may appear wrong, but motives bring rewards. Now, as a minister, I don't get into your bedroom. I mean, you know, consenting adults, you know, I can marry you, I can divorce you, I can give marriage counseling, I can give advice. However, I do want people to be aware that a dowry or making sure that the household is secure is important. Now, I mean, you know, you, you, you can't think about one wife or four wives, nor yourself, if the bills ain't in order. Now, I mean, this, this is a real world. I mean, we live in a material universe that's also spiritual. So the spiritual science is that balance. You know I mean, so you can't take care of four women if you can't take care of yourself. That's just not practical nor realistic. You're going to be hurting her, the other sisters, and the, and the, and the babies. You know what I mean, you know, and, and that's, that's, that's just going to just backfire in the long run. You know what I mean? However, you know, we are in the struggle. There are brothers that's incarcerated. There are brothers that don't want women. They are... Uh, brothers that's sick. There are brothers that die. There are brothers that's committing suicide. There's more women than there are men. However, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said something that I would like to share with y'all that a lot of people seem to overlook. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad explained in the Field General's Manual, the following. He explained to us that he asked the Savior about polygamy. Think this over. He asked the Supreme Law about a man having more than one wife. He specifically asked him about polygamy. Now think about the answer of Master Far Muhammad, the Supreme Law, whom we claim to believe and follow. All right. Master Far Muhammad explained to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad regarding polygamy. He didn't admit it or deny it, none of that. His answer was this. He explained, he said, brother. If the devils can get their hands on such information, they would use it to keep our people away from Islam. Think that over, please. If the devil could get his hands on such information, they would use it to keep our people away from Islam. So basically the savior position was like, brother, you can't give babies meat. I mean, it's like you gotta drink milk first. Like, polygamy, y'all talking like y'all already got a divine government, so y'all still spooked out your mind. 
I mean, y'all y'all still can't eat to live yet. Y'all still think you need fish hoagies and bean pies and yeah, y'all don't even understand the vegetarian lifestyle. Y'all don't understand problem number 13. Set yourselves in heaven at once with peace of mind and contentment, money, good homes and friendships and all walks of life. Your brother in the East want to know, what is you doing for yourself? So if your brother in the East like, hold up, you ain't, you ain't got no peace of mind, you're stressed out, we suffer from anxiety, depression, everything else out there. We living in America, struggling in this crazy ass world. We're not mad, but this is a mad world we live in. We still under Yaku's system, you know what I mean? So we don't have peace of mind and content. And you know we ain't got no money. <laughs> I mean, we don't have no money. We don't have peace of mind and contentment. We don't have money. We don't have good homes. Now, I mean, we struggling to pay the rent, struggling to pay the mortgage. And, you know, it's like we happy if we got one house, but homes, that's more than one house. You know, I mean, we in a real estate game. We got a real estate license. We got our businesses rolling. We got doctors and lawyers and chemists and engineers and firemen and militias. We don't have friendships in all walks of life. I can't hop on the phone and call fruit like, yo, let me hold 10 stats. Let me hold 100,000. Oh, I got this investment. Send me, you know, wire me a million dollars. I mean, vice versa. So being practical, realistic, you know what I mean? Really real, you know what I mean? It's like, come on, fam. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like um, as the minister, I, I, would, I would marry two consenting Adults, I would marry uh, a man that has two wives if they wanted to, as long as they mature, they understand what they're doing, and you know we take a look, have a little counseling about it. We go through the scriptures and the messenger teaches on it, and they explain that niyat or their intention. Hey, it's not illegal, not in the nation of Islam, not in Islam, not in African societies. Now, I mean, not not in people of color around the world, actually historically. However, it is illegal under state law, under the United States uh, system. You know what I mean? So there's a balance there. You have to understand what you're talking about. Now, is you getting married under the devil's law, or you say you're getting married under God's law, or you getting married under both? You can't do that. That's a crime. I, I can't do it under the devil's law. I wouldn't do it under the devil's You know what I mean? You know, I'm not throwing rocks at the penitentiary for you. But at the same time, if you wanted to have an Islamic marriage, hey, you can do that all day long. Just email me at ministeralif at gmail.com. I mean, you can have mithak, as the Holy Quran call it, a mental marriage. But the Savior regarding polygamy explained to us that if the devils could get their hands on such information, they would use it to keep our people away from Islam. So what you do is you spread and bitter, you spread and confusion. I mean, you know what I mean? He's like, he's like a sister like, damn, I'm trying to find a strong, dedicated, hard-working black man as it is. And hell, now that is, he talking about he want three, four wives, ten wives, nine wives, and we struggling, you know what I mean? And, and then when you get your four wives, you still want to have your young girls and mess with other girls. It's like, come on. You know what I mean, you know, it, it's a difference. You're not even mature enough for that yet. You know what I mean? You know, it's like, I'm not, um, I, I never claim to be holy than now. I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm, you know, I'm in the car right now with my wife, my one wife. <laughs> I mean, we, we've been married. How long have we been married, Malika? <laughs> she said too long. <laughs> See, we, we've been married going on 30 years. You know what I mean? You know, we've been married going on 30 years. In them, in them 30 years, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, I mean, you 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 have your disagreements. You know what I mean, but in 30 years, I, I never called her out her name. In 30 years, I never put my hands on her in an aggressive way. I never smacked her in her face. You know what I mean? And she she a little tough cookie. She ain't gonna let me smack her and punch her around. And I told her a long time ago, I grew up with three sisters and my mom. You know what I mean? And when me and my sister Roxy got in a fight. You know what I mean? And she called my, my mom came in there with my behind. like, don't ever put your hands on a woman. You know what I mean? You know, and it's like, you know, growing up in, in a household where I seen abusive men. I seen brothers, they get drunk and want to hit a woman and she want to hit them back and they gang war for real. You know what I mean? You know, so that, that you know, you, you have broken homes in the hood. You know what I mean? So, you know, real guys seen real things. So I grew up under in hell. I understand all that. That ain't 
I love my mother. I love my, you know what I mean? My, my stepfathers, whatever, they all did the best they could under the circumstances. This is America. I, I know who the devil is. I know who to blame if I want to blame someone, but also not accept self-responsibility and do for self. And part of that is, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not, I'm not thinking about more than one wife, not because I'm not um, a man, you know what I mean? But it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to carve our way through this wilderness. You know what I mean? Now, if the law bless me with a billion dollars, baby, you know what it's heading for. <laughs> but she knows she going to have her dowry. She going, I mean, that's realistically, your first thought shouldn't be who's going to be my other wife. Your first thought should be what's going to be my next source of income. <laughs> I'm going to pay these bills. I'm going to help with these bills. You know what I mean? When Billy called, you know what I mean? You know, like Mr. Big said, ain't nobody gone but some bill collectors. So let's keep it real. Let's keep it funky. Let's keep it street. Let's keep it gangster. Not gangster in the street, but let's keep it God star. You know what I mean? When you keep it God star, do right to your sister. Do right to your queen, to your goddess, to your, to your, to your, to the, your partner. Be friends. You know what I mean? And understand that if the devil's to get us into that, they'll use that like Yaku's Law of Divine and Con can help keep our people away from Islam because we know that we're not a self-governing people yet. So we shouldn't be thinking about that level of the, of, of the relationships. Peace and blessings, family. I'm your brother in the struggle. I'll leave.